Hey guys, it's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com and my microphone was Stella's tail. She's sitting here with me but she's below the camera, you know, line of sight, so maybe I'll bring her up in a minute to say hi. Um, so this is a video response to a good friend of mine, Carl, aka Woodland37. I'm gonna put his name down in the description, check him out. Um, it's also a video response to my good friend Brad, aka ProBman5. Uh, Brad had a very, very uh, gentleman-like mentioned me in his response. Uh, I'm very, very humbled by his opinion on my channel, on me, and uh, all the very, very positive and nice comments he's made. So hats off to you, Brad. Thank you very much. You are a very kind person, and I'm glad you like my channel. Uh, it's a lot of fun to do, so... Um, the questions are 10 random questions by Carl, Woodland37, from now on, I'll say his username, and uh, I'm going to try to answer them as best as possible. The problem with that is, these questions are all, what is your favorite blank? Uh, and I have lots of favorite whatevers, so just I'm just going to name one. It may not be my favorite favorite, because I have 10 of them, but I'm going to try and name one each. First off, favorite movie. I'm gonna say Brazil. Brazil is uh, is one of my favorite films. It's a post-apocalyptic sort of dystopian, futuristic, um, not apocalyptic. I shouldn't say that. Kind of uh, jibe, jab at um, you know the man and the system and the government and it, it, it's very funny. Um, it's kind of dark, kind of like black humor. I guess they would say a black comedy. And it's by Terry Gilliam, who also did great movies like The Twelve Monkeys, and The Fisher King, and uh, Tideland, and the list goes on. He's got a new movie coming out soon called uh, Zero Theorem, I believe, with Christopher Waltz, is that his name, from from Inglorious Bastards, the, the German guy. Great actor. So hopefully that movie's good. It looks very similar to Brazil, actually. Number two. What is your favorite color? Red. I don't know why... Uh, I don't consider myself an abrasive person. They say the color of your underwear or your clothes that you pick in the morning or the color of your walls. This is beige, kind of like a coffee, light coffee color. Um, determine what kind of person you are and when you walk into a room, if a color is, is like too much, it can actually make people feel aggressive or upset, or, which is why most rooms are, are muted or blue, which is calming. Uh, red is my favorite color. Maybe because the color of blood. I don't know. <laughs> I just like the color red. I think it stands out. Red and black. Black is a shade. I know that. Go together really well. I really like red. I, I don't know why. Um, I just find it to be pleasing. Number three. Favorite song. One of my favorite songs is Ribbons by the Sisters of Mercy. The Sisters of Mercy is an excellent uh, UK... Um, I would say gothic rock band. They call them the grandfathers of gothic because they supposedly like kind of really jumped the genre off in I believe the 70s and 80s. And uh, Ribbons is a great song. Cool undertones to it or overtones. And uh, they don't say they're gothic. And then the main singer, I think is he's the only one really left. So he has like a drum machine he calls, Dr. Avalanche. And I think he has some guys that fill in on other positions. And he's uh, it's just great music it's great you know rock music um, number what are we up to four favorite actor this one's really tough for me I have a lot of favorite actors as well um, I'm gonna say uh, Keanu Reeves Keanu Reeves is uh, you know one of these actors that I just always like in things he's done a lot of goofy movies like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Freaked and bogus journey and you know that's how kind of how everyone thinks of him but I think he can really act I know he's kind of monotone but I always seem to like his movies uh, Street Kings uh, Scanner Darkly I mean there's a lot of movies he did um, Bram Stoker's Dracula was pretty cool so there's a lot of movies he's done over the years The Matrix Johnny Mnemonic I love that I just think are uh, just cool things I, I, you know anytime he's in a movie it just catch, catches my interest so Keanu Reeves is up there for me uh, Let's see. Oh, an actress as well. Um, they use this as one question, but I'll put it together. Uh, I, I like Winona Ryder a lot. I've had a crush on her since I was a kid. I like dark hair. I like fair skin. So uh, I think that probably did it when I was a child. I was just, like, drooling. 
Um, so I, I usually like to check out her films. And funny, she's actually in quite a few movies with Keanu Reeves. And I had a crush on her from Beetlejuice, which I guess isn't the norm. Because when I see girls with dark hair and pale skin and they look like, you know, Winona Ryder from Beetlejuice, it's not uh, usually people's first choice. Um, let's see. Favorite all-time game. Again, I have way too many to name. Uh, I will say... Earthbound is one of my favorite games on the Super Nintendo. Um, I waited for many years afterwards on the N64 for Earthbound 64. Sadly, it was never released. They then came out with, uh, I think, a Game Boy sequel that I never played. I didn't really have a Game Boy much, and it was only in uh, it was Game Boy Advance, and it was only in Japan. They've translated it on the internet, and people have made, I think, you know, uh, like ROM hacks and cartridges that you can transfer it to, yada yada, but I've never played it. But the first Earthbound was, oh, second. It's really Mother, and then Mother 2 is Earthbound on the Super Nintendo. Mother was a Japanese exclusive on the NES, or Famicom. It never came out in America. Uh, favorite drink? Cappuccino. I love cappuccino. I love espresso. Uh, I always do skim milk, though, because I try not to drink too much fatty crap, even though I have gained a couple pounds. In case you couldn't tell by my last uh, podcast with the boys, the camera was under my chin, so I looked like humongous. So that was kind of funny. Maybe she had a tattoo under there. <laughs> um, favorite snack. Again, I have quite a few. Um, one of them is peanut M&M's. I love peanut M&M's. I think uh, peanuts and chocolate just go really well for me. So peanut M&M's. Favorite YouTube channel. <clears throat> Again, I have many. A lot of my friends I would consider my favorite channels. That's how I've gotten to know them and, and you know bullshitted with them over the year or year and a half I've been here. Um, one of my favorites that I get really excited about when they put out new videos because of their humor, the way they review games, the way they talk about things is hard for games. Check them out, they're really cool. It's a bunch of guys, and three or four of them, or five, they switch them out once in a while, and uh, they just don't take themselves very seriously. You know, they, they review very well, it's interesting, they show a lot of the games off, but they're really funny and goofy too, so they just got a good sense of humor. Um, I'll, I'm gonna let you guys know that so you can, I don't know, watch me telling you how much I love you. Favorite food? Again, I have many. Um, I'm going to say one of my favorite foods is pizza. I'm actually, I was, when I was a child, lactose intolerant. So anything I ate with cheese, or so I thought, would make me violently ill. Um, as I've gotten older, I'm almost 30 now, if you couldn't tell by these breasts. Um, I've realized I'm not lactose intolerant any longer. So... I'm actually uh, eating pizza all the time, and I love pizza, all kinds, you know, uh, ZD pizza, vegetable pizza, um, this guy over here does these really great tortellini slices with tor cheese tortellini on them, probably horrible for you, but it's good, which would explain these breasts, <laughs> I'm just kidding, they're not that bad, I swear, I'm just sitting down funny. Uh, favorite console, um, since everyone knows the Sega CD is one of my favorite consoles, I'll name something else. The Neo Geo. I love the Neo Geo. I have the Neo Geo X. Uh, I've played the arcades over the years. The games are extremely difficult, extremely fun. Um, I feel that the Neo Geo totally embodies for me what a game should be. Uh, excellent graphics for their time still hold up very well on the Neo Geo X with the HDMI cable. You know, fun sound, decent, mostly hard difficulty, but sometimes it's good to moderate. Um, excellent multiplayer, you know, short bursts of fun, just, it's something that I feel is missing at this point, I feel like things have gotten kind of too in-depth to a degree, I think uh, simplicity for me is, is just uh, a beautiful thing that, that has kind of lost its way in terms of gaming on a, you know, it pops up sometimes, but I, I want a really good fucking side-scrolling beat-em-up again, I want Final Fight to come back, you know, I want Streets of Rage or, uh, Mutation Nation or Sengoku. I want something to come back that's like old school Guardian Heroes. So that's it. Um, those are my some of my favorite things. I couldn't name them all because this video would have been 20 minutes or an hour or some that something. Uh, but thanks guys for watching. It's Vampire Mike from SegaCDUniverse.com, and thank you Carl, aka Woodland37, for the question. And again, Pro B Man Five for the very very humbling. Um, comments that you made about me and my channel. So, be good guys.
Stella, come on. Say something to everyone. Okay.